Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Triumph Nine Light Linear Pendant. This is the 131075. There's also a Triumph sconce that would go great with this, and there's a picture of it right next to me here. Check it out if you can. Let's get into the size of the fixture itself, and we're going to be talking about it independent of the rods that it's hanging from. This is coming in at 24 inches high. 17 inches wide, which is also the depth if you want to call it that, and then it's 41 inches long, so it's a nice substantial fixture. Overall height, it's going to give you a range. It's going to start off at 29.3, and it's going to go to 71.3 as standard product, and that's going to be broken up into different overall heights, and you're going to see that in a chart. The chart is way down there in the corner. It's going to show you all of the different heights that you can get using the system of interconnected rods from Hubberton Forge. And it's going to show you which rod combos are going to get you to each of those those uh, things coming down. So uh, another cool thing about this, it's going to ship with 120 inches of wire. So even though this is kind of maxing out at 71 inches, you can just order additional kits of these pipes and you'll be able to come down even farther than the 71. 120 inches of wire, you're going to need about 5 or 6 inches at the end to get to the box. So kind of figure that you'd be able to get to about 114 to 115 inches overall height. This is slope ceiling adaptable in one direction, which means that, that one pipe can't be longer than the other pipe. If you're using this on a slope, just call me and I'll walk you through it. It takes just two seconds. Okay, uh, let's talk about the system of interconnected pipes that Hubberton's using. So you're going to be getting six pieces of the 12 to begin with. Uh, two pieces of the six and two pieces of the three inch and a bunch of these little connectors. And little connectors do exactly what you think. They have threading on the ends. The pipes themselves have threading on the inside. And you basically just put them together like this. They, they just screw together. Takes a second. Beautiful, clean. You can barely see a seam there. And um, I want to show you how to put this together. It's a good idea to do it now. Why don't we talk about the installation's instructions. So way over on that side of the screen, midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installation's instructions PDF. Open that up for me. It is going to show you lots of good information. It's going to show you a full parts kit, a full parts list. It's going to show you um, you're going to be putting a towel down. You're going to put the fixture body down, the part that has the sockets. And you're basically going to take the wire and you're going to go through the pipes little by little. So you're going to go through a connector, through a pipe, through a connector, through a pipe. And this is, mind you, after you figured out which pipes connect uh, combos you're going to need to get to your overall height. And then you're just going to kind of build your fixture going up. Eventually you're going to go through that canopy and you're, and you're pretty much done. The canopy is 5 inches by 27 inches. It goes over your standard junction box. This is coming in at only 22.5 uh, pounds. It's not very heavy, so it just hangs from a normal box. So nothing to worry about there. So very easy with these things. If you guys need to order those other kits, just drop me a quick email. That's a good way to do it. Tell me which metal finish you're doing, too, and I can quote that out for you. Okie dokie. So why don't we talk about what's going on inside of this for lamping. Uh, well, to begin with, the glass on this is going to be Hubbardson Forge's opal glass. That's going to be a frosted white glass, and I'll talk more about that later in the video. That's going to be hiding your socket, so you're not going to be able to see any of what's going on. Hubbardson's going to be using these G9 sockets, and this is a 9 light, don't forget, so you're going to have a lot of these to play with. You can go up to 25 watts if you want to go halogen, old school halogen, which is which would be very pretty in this. And you can get halogen bulbs everywhere, easy to get find. If you guys want to do LEDs, don't forget the glass is frosted. You're not going to be able to see the LEDs, so aesthetically you don't have to care about what these look like. They just have to throw out the color of the light you like and the wattage equivalent of what you're looking for. And a great way to find these is just to go on Amazon, quite honestly. It's the, the easiest way. Put in G9 LED. Up pops up a big page. It's going to show you lots of different ones you can get. The ones that look like corn cobs are called cob LEDs. The ones that have the orange stripes or lines running through them are called phosphorus LEDs. They do the same job. But what's really important is you want to zero in on the color of the light to begin with. 2700 Kelvin that's going to be offered is going to be like the setting sun. It's very orange. That's actually the same color of light that comes out of halogen bulbs, just so you know. That's 2700 Kelvin or incandescent bulbs. And then way on the other side of that is called daylight. And daylight sounds warm. It's not warm. That's kind of a cold hospital waiting room light or an overcast day. That's going to be 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin. You'll see that offered there. In the middle, that what we like to use in our showroom is called warm white. And warm white is the color of the light coming down on this table right now. That's coming down from the lights above. These are warm white 3,000 Kelvin LEDs. So you'll see that's going to be offered as well. 
So it doesn't matter what you get. You just want to kind of zero in on what you guys are looking for. It's a dimmable fixture. Make sure that if you're doing halogens, you're going to buy a dimmer for that because it's going to be a little different than the dimmers that are offered for LEDs. Tell your installer that you're using LEDs in it so they use the correct dimmer on the wall. Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the HandmaidenVermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video. So it's really important that you kind of watch the video, use the chart. You can click on that chart on different things. So you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke. Click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron, it'll do the same thing. But it's really important that you understand how Hubbard's Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different, on different fixtures. Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, th well, we're up to 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a What's On Display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued things in showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that, because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home, and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmaidenVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.